everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. Today is the last day of Inktober. It's Poopooween! Wee! Happy Halloween! <laughs> if you're doing anything for Halloween. Uh, it, today's prompt was right, and I hated it, and I was mad about it because I thought it was dumb, as per usual, with like 10 of the other prompts, but ended up, you know, my dad, of course, comes up with a really good idea. Just draw apples and stuff because fruit's ripe and it's October. It's a good time. It's a great idea. So that's what I did. I did a very painterly illustration of an orchard. Of which I have never been to. I've never been to an orchard, but there's lots of pictures. <laughs> and how I wish it would look. And how I want it to look. So, yeah. Because we have some apple trees in our backyard. And they're very gross. They're very scary. Sleepy hollow style apple trees in our backyard. My dad told me too that you have to have apple trees planted close to one another. Like you can't just have one, you have to have at least two. So, yeah, we have two, maybe three. I think there's three. No, that's a pear tree. There's a pear tree too. There's lots of cool trees. It's like a mini uh, farm together in the backyard. <laughs> but anyways, not much to say about my techniques and how I did anything. It was all one layer. I used the watercolor brush for quite a bit of it and very basic colors. Um, yeah. Red, green, and technically even that brown is a little bit of, uh, like a reddish color, just very unsaturated. Oh, and blue. Blue for the sky. And at the very tail end, I used the airbrush again with the add glow setting, because I love that <laughs> brush. It's fun, and I, I always find an excuse to use it. So yeah, that's how I did this. I like how it turned out. I think it turned out okay. It was fun to do. It was quick. I, I, I'm used to spending hours and hours on these and I'm still rushing and this was just painterly and quick and relaxing. If you get the chance, I highly recommend just sketching out a background of sorts or some kind of scene, landscape. <laughs> They're called landscapes. <laughs> um, it's relaxing. You know? It's fun. And if you think something doesn't look quite right, look at some references and think, ah, okay. Just, just, the best way to learn, if you're, if you're anything like me, you don't want to pull out a book, put your reading glasses on, and just study. You have to go outside and touch a tree. You be like, ah, the bark, it feels. And you go inside and you draw the bark. You feel the bark. You feel it, you draw the bark the way you felt it. Or, I mean, you stare at it be like, okay, it's this color. But don't hyper focus on that because you gotta realize that it's that color because there's, of the way the light's hitting it. It depends on the colors of the things around it. Everything, colors in general, are so subjective and it really, they depend on the things around them. I remember my mom wanted to paint the kitchen, her kitchen gray, and she had four of those color swatches of different grays. She's like, they're all kind of the same. I said, well, actually, they're very different. And it's it's because, you know, clearly they're numbered differently, but if you hold them next to, say, if you hold the, held, not holded, if you held the four of them next to a red, for example, they were all gonna look cooler. If you held them all next to a blue, some of them were gonna look warmer. Um, it just really depends. So outside, you know, looking at trees, sometimes the bark of trees, like when they're wet, they look cold and bluish. Uh, sometimes the leaves look cold and blue, but when the sun is out and it's super bright and it's warm, they all look yellow or golden. And it's just, have fun with it. It doesn't have to be exact and perfect. Just, I think that's where part of the beauty of art comes from and how fun it can be is when you say, hey, the sun is golden today, my leaves are gonna be golden, the grass is gonna be golden, the trees are gonna be golden, I'm gonna make everything warm. Do it, that's, that's art, just have fun. Don't stress over it, just do it. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, just, just have fun, just do it, it's gonna be great.
somebody just dropped a package on the pork in my pork? Somebody dropped a package on the pork. Oh no. <laughs> oh, everything is scary. Okay. Well, okay, now that's over. Um I don't really have much to say other than thanks for hanging out with me through this Inktober. It was a blast. I had so much fun. I haven't drawn so much in a million years, it feels like. I learned a lot. I hope you learned something too. And I hope you feel better and know that with me and my not perfect art out here, you can do the same thing. You have every right to draw, put your art out there, make friends, and <clears throat> hey, I'm your friend. I'm here for you, okay? We can do this together. Follow me on my social media sites. Share your art with me. I love it. I want to see it. I have a deviant art if you're not comfortable with Instagram or any of those places. Uh, if you have a Tumblr and you don't like anything else, I have a Tumblr. Just, you know, I got my stuff down there. I have this channel, it's not going to go anywhere, I'm going to keep putting stuff up because I have fun. I love editing videos. I'll have more time to make them more funny too, which I am excited about. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for being my friend and hanging out with me. I've had a good time. I hope you keep drawing. I'm going to keep drawing and enjoy the tail end of my ripe apple orchard. <laughs>
Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. I hope to see you again next time, and remember to stay creative. Bye!